Hi, I'm Luke, bike shop manager here with Backcountry, and this is Whiskey. Today, I'm going to show you what to look for in a bike trainer and the accessories that help you build out your at-home training ecosystem. So when you're shopping for a trainer, there are four categories to know. Wheels on, rear wheel off, smart, and not. The primary benefit of wheel on trainers is that they are simply convenient. The cons are that you'll add wear and tear on your wheels and tires, and there's a possibility you'll scuff your equipment as well. Direct drive trainers give you amazing stability, and because there is no rear tire to lose traction during big efforts, your training is very precise. The downside is you have to take off your rear wheel to train and put it back on to go right outside. Not to mention the purchase of a spare cassette, although that's one expense that's worth the money. Now, let's talk about whether to go smart or not. A premium smart setup gives you an immersive training experience with the ability to train virtually online and pair with an ecosystem of wireless accessories, but they are expensive and not easily transported. The more traditional option is a fluid or magnetic trainer, which has manually adjusted resistance and can be tossed in your car to get warmups at raced venues. It's important to know that even if you're not a racer, you can still really enjoy and benefit from a smart trainer and a premium setup. One of our favorite trainers is the Wahoo Kicker Core. It's Wahoo's mid-tier smart direct drive trainer between the kicker and the kicker snap. After a little easy assembly, you just load on your bike, plug the core in, and pair it via Bluetooth to Wahoo's app or an online program like Zwift. Resistance is provided with the core's electronically braked flywheel, so the riding characteristics are incredibly realistic and the trainer's response to online courses is immediate. The core can also pair via Ant Plus to your existing power meter, although it has a standalone in-unit cadence and power meter measurements. The core is incredibly stable, produces realistic riding characteristics, and is just fun to use. You're going to sweat a lot training indoors, and you'll need to keep that sweat off your bike to prevent corrosion to metal parts like headset bearings and shifter clamps. We use the Tax Sweat Cover for the bike to prevent sweat from damaging our gear. The same goes for your floors, and a trainer mat keeps them sweat and scuff free. Wahoo is all about creating a training ecosystem. Their Kicker Climb helps simulate climbing and descending and can respond quickly to grade changes on virtual courses up to 20% incline and 10% decline, which adds another layer of fun and realism to the ride. We can't recommend Wahoo's extendable soft top desk enough. Whether you're hammering out Zwift courses or taking a Zoom call, the desk is a professional workstation, and it's designed to work with the footprint of the Kicker Climb and the Kicker Headwind. Today, heart rate bands do more than just track your physiological response to training. They connect with other accessories, like the Kicker Headwind, to make your indoor workouts really interactive and connected. And if you think you might want to do group rides or racing online, having a heart rate band may be essential. Some events simply won't let you in without heart rate, which shows you're actually riding and not cheating. Training indoors gets hot and muggy real quick, so having a powerhouse of a smart fan like the Kicker Headwind is a game changer. It blows an incredibly focused stream of air directly to you that is controllable manually via Wahoo's app or is programmable to respond automatically to riding speed or heart rate. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you dial in your indoor trainer setup for the off season. If you have any questions, connect with a gearhead today.